the story of a hundred operas. It's this collection of one hundred operas or, that were that are considered the best loved in the world, in Germany and Italy and France and Russia, all over the world. And one day maybe it'll say the story of a hundred and one operas, and mine might be in there because I'm thinking. Respiro. I breathe. An opera in three acts by Ruben Avilio Mauricio. So I, the inspiration was, I was very sick about five years ago and in the hospital. Um, I've had asthma my whole entire life from day one. And it's just the way I got here. And never have been able to really, people say you outgrow it. Well, I didn't, <laughs> so, and I'm learning to live with it. So I was really sick, my pneumonia was bad, and I just remember being in the bed, in the hospital bed, and thinking, I have to do something. This is, this is crazy, and something has to come of this. And this idea of respiro, I breathe, and the main character being this six-year-old little chubby Hispanic boy me or or based on me and but not being defined by this asthma that this is so life invasive just our daily we need to breathe all day long all night long and it's just so basic but if you can't do it you can't it's it's tough but there i was in the late 60s the race riots were happening in Detroit. Uh, we were right there. Um, my mother and father were in their crazy relationship with each other. And there I was in this crazy relationship with asthma. And I said, you know what? Um, yet I had the spirit to, and passion to live and to want to make something. So, respiro. I breathe. Scene one, act one. The character is Santiago, age five. And his parents, so far, Viviana and Rosendo. <laughs> Belle Isle is a place in Detroit. It's a beautiful island. Summer, 1966. Respiro. Scene one, act one. Santiago is up on the hill, up from the river, flying his kite, a part of a yellow triangle in the sky, just, he smiles, everything's all smiles. The skyline of Detroit and Windsor are converging. The transistor radio tuned to CKLW, the Motor City, and they're turning it way up, and the song from Edie Gourmet comes up, called Blame It on the Bossa Nova. Blame it on the Bossa Nova. And Rosando, Rosendo and Viviana are lying on their sides, looking at each other, smiling, making sure that they can see Santiago up on the hill. And it looks like he's just running back and forth and zigzagging from side to side, chasing the tail of the kite and giggling. Santiago looks down the hill and waves to his parents. Now they're dancing. And he, he can't hear the radio anymore, just the voices of his parents singing. Rosendo and Viviana sing together, and dancing on the blanket. And suddenly they're center stage. And the song, Sabor a Mi, they start singing to each other. That was a song at their wedding, their first dance. No pretendo ser tu dueño. No soy nadie, yo no tengo vanidad de mi vida. Duelo bueno. Soy tan pobre que otra cosa puedo dar. Pasarán más de mil años, muchos más. In the song, they keep singing and dancing quietly. Viviana's head resting gently on Rosendo's shoulder. The song ends with the words sabor a mi. Taste, taste me, basically, but it just means 
Sal water me, my, the taste of my lips. And Viviana takes a bow, lifts her skirt up like it takes a bow, and Rosendo taps his head, and they look up to the hill, and they see the kite just going off into the sky, but they don't see Santiago, and the curtains close. So, so much work to do. That's just the opening. It's, and it might just be a play, maybe not an opera, but this idea of, I don't know, creating something out of, not ashes. It certainly feels like that when you can't breathe and there's just this fire in your lungs that it's, it's just working against you. But I was, there it was in my bed, the oxygen stuff going on and the, the noises and I just kept thinking, I breathe. So I just wanted to toast to you and whatever your struggles are, whatever your struggles continue to be, we have them. My asthma has not gone away. It will be a lifelong thing. But it doesn't define me, and nor does your illness or struggles be what they are. Define you. They do inform you and influence you, shape you. They're part of you. So let's let's reshape them into something amazing. Cheers. Respiro. I breathe. Breathe easy. Peace.